Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. I'd like to apologise for the shaky camera work. This was filmed before I had video stabilisation. I would also like to apologise for the bad audio. It was a very windy day on the Isle of Skye and it was filmed on a GoPro 5 which is not known for its great audio quality in wind. Uh, folks, um, I'm just leaving um, the wild camping spot in um, on Sky Trail Stage 5 on Isle of Sky, and I'm your host Richard. Uh, just Hi there folks, it's your host Richard on Isle of Sky and the stage 6 Sky Trail, stage 5 Sky Trail, start stage 6 and um, I'm just uh, boiling some water as I was saying uh, on my army stove because my um, uh, gas stove is useless, got it from Iceland, extortion at price and absolutely useless. But um, I'm gonna have to buy a new one, and this is the light. Actually, this army stove, in my opinion, is the best cooker you can get because you don't have to lug around a great big gas canister, and it's light and it's cheap and um, fits in the bag well. Um, yeah, definitely for, for lightness, the best stove. like a little farm shed of some kind, I don't know, rowing cottage, ah, yeah, it looks like a B&B of some kind, it's got a TripAdvisor thing in it, review us, 
Not even signed for PMB. Hmm. Must be just advertised in it somewhere. Just walking along um, one of the easier sections on sec section six is supposed to be easy. Um, this is definitely easy. Um, it's a very wet day. It's not pissing down, but sort of drizz a bit more than drizzle maybe. Um, no wind, which is good. Got a lovely view of a mountain there. I'm not sure what that is, but pretty sure I'm not going over any mountains today. I was uh, on wild, wild plants around here. I didn't smell the pollen actually. Um, still raining. Um, path has got smaller. It was a four wheel dry track, now it's just a path. I'll have a rest up here actually. I'm shattered. <laughs> Been getting up too early. Oh, I'm rest just there. Put my bag down. Oh, house. Croft, probably. Wait. This house. What a view they got. Check that out. Check out the view out they got. A lovely little house here with a fantastic view, and apparently it's available for holiday lets. There's a website there for it. And um, look at the view, check that out. A wee little shelter there by the looks of it. Um, I don't know if it's a shelter or a storage shed. Like over here, there's a house. I thought it was a cemetery then. And a house with a perfect view. And uh, look at that house, what a view it's got. Check the view out of these houses have got. It's like a small community along the um, facing the mainland. And the house over there. That's beautiful. I'd love to live in that house. Uh, that is a house to live in. <laughs> wow. You get yourself a boat and you can go over to the mainland. Perfect. Sutherland LTV, plumbing, heating, uh, electrical contractors, and some calf, a calf there, so you've got to be careful. And then with their uh, calves, sometimes, sometimes I can get angry, but most of the time I never do, so. Alright. Hello there, fella. So, please keep a sensible distance from animals or dogs. Thank you. Um, oh. And there's say goodbye to our friends there. Bye. And check that view out. What's a shame there, the weather's not better. Oh, they made that caravan down there some better days. And down to the sea there. Um, and discovered um Actually, I don't know if that is, this is our path, or have we got to go through here? I think that must be our path. This looks like um, a croft, so I'm thinking I must have to go down this way, maybe. To an old house, or? Burial ground or something? Strange. Going past some old, like, uh, I don't know, farm ruins. Not sure what these would have been built for. I mean, they've got tre trees in. Seems a bit weird. I don't think that would have been the original use for them, surely. I don't know. There's quite, a, seems to be quite a few of them about. It's weird, isn't it? It looks like the remains of a house. Remains of something. Yeah. 
Looks like the remains of a house to me. Yep. Due to the highland clearances, I would think. Yeah, some remains of uh, some other buildings over here. So, some more remains here. And um, it looks like the weather seems to be a bit better at the moment. Whether it stay like that, I don't know. Might get solar power out in there. I don't know if there's enough power to power the solar, but maybe it'll power at least one GoPro battery over the day. Um, yeah, so a um, bit of a clearer view now. Um, just check on what going right right here. Okay, okay. Another croft down there, looks like a kind of modern modern day croft. It's good. Like uh, most of the crofts now have electricity, solar or whatever. Um, not all of them, but... Um, and they don't totally, and um, a lot of them don't totally live off the land like they used to. Um, I don't think. If they do, fair place for a man, it must be... I can't see it being that easy. Looks like I'm coming to a road. Civilization. Um, another croft. Lovely, lovely house. What a view. Well, reminds me of my um, little boat I used to have. Take a look at that. Nice little sea boat there. A picture of that. Wee little boat. <laughs> Brilliant. Have a house along here. And beach. Have a fantastic view. Looks like it's starting to rain. I took my rain clothes off. House with a view. What a view. Probably get otters along here. But we come to a cemetery here. I'm just gonna have a quick wee look. Wow. Check out the flowers, very nice. I love that tree. Wow. Bit of history here. This is on the coast of Skye, off the tourist tra trail, away from the tourist trail. Oh, what a beautiful cemetery. It's very old tombs there. That's very old. Almost looks prehistoric. It's like a standing stone. Beautiful little step. Wow. This is right by the sea on the uh, sky. Wow. Absolutely beautiful cemetery. What a place to be, well, when you eventually do die, what a place to be buried. Interesting to know how uh, old this burial ground is. Definitely a lot of interesting history here. Um, lovely memory. Uh, 957. Not so old, that one. Some really old ones here. They. Let's have a look, shall we? Only even got Mark. They're so old.
is coming down even further into a muddy track and there's a lock well, I don't know if that's a sea or a freshwater lock or I think it's a sea sea lock and this is a pretty rough track I think the weather, it's been very weathered um, this track has seen this is like a four wheel drive track no, I'm going to go over the bridge. <laughs> a bit deeper than I thought. Oh, mate, I am so tired. Thanks for the bridge. No, I have wet feet. It's a fairly new bridge. It's not that deep. But, okay. Alright. I'm going to have a sit down, I think the road now the last bit around the, the lock until Torin and hopefully there is a calf or some kind of place where I can get some kind of food because I am bloody starving <laughs> so Torin is just over there and unfortunately I've got to walk all around that bridge there so Torin is that small little place so that'll be interesting another place I think off the tourist tourist map I've never been to Beautiful along here, isn't it? There seems to be a walk up there. Plenty of water about anyway. Folks, I'm on section 7, a sky trail on Isle of Skye. Um, just sort of leaving Torren, heading for uh, well, the end of this section, but I um, won't complete it today. I'm going to complete it tomorrow. See how far I can get. Shimmer's got its waterproofs on. I think I'm going to have to put mine on. I'm not going to complete this section today. I'll complete it tomorrow, but I'm starting some of it now because um, many places I can see in Torrent camp or by the road, and I don't really want to camp by the road to be honest. So uh, I'm sure there are some other places, but. I got here early, so I might as well carry on. And it looks like there might be um, some places um, along by the coast to put the tent up. I'm not sure, but hopefully. <laughs> 